Oh guys, this is Emperor of Greater Known bringing you a Medieval 2 online battle. Uh, this is a free v3 played on the Scottish Highlands. I am uh, playing as Scotland, of course, uh, bringing the, the natives to the map. Uh, my ally Striders Harris bring Portugal, and my other ally on my uh, right flank is Kipuka playing Venice. So he's got the power faction over here on the hill. And we have our opponents for today are, uh, I believe, Spartan Quap playing as Sicily, another power faction on this side. And we have uh, the Crimson Kaiser, uh, opponent in a previous battle uh, that I uploaded, uh, playing as Spain. And then we have Grumpy Pirate something at the end uh, for England. Anyway. Uh, as you can see, uh, again, the Scottish Highlands map, uh, it's kind of favors our side of the map in terms of geography, since we get two big hill positions here. Um, now, our main strategy, uh, what our team planned to do was kind of move over towards Kipuka, um, and what me and Strider were going to do is we were going to kind of uh, gang up on Spain, because England was far away from his opponent would have to run uphill to engage. Um, you'll see that this doesn't quite happen the way we planned it, but uh, everything still works out okay. And Kipika's just going to hold on his hill, because um, I don't think Spartan Quap would attack up hill uh, to face Kipika. Anyway, let's get things started. Now I brought Scotland. Now the thing about Scotland is it's a pretty uh, maybe underdeveloped faction. It's it's really lacking in terms of the heavy cav and, and crossbow archer department. But in a way, uh, many people kind of underrate it, and it's got really good selection of infantry and pikes, and it's got some pretty good medium to light cav. I mean, you got the scouts, which are sort of like uh, Stradi uh, Stradiots and Allen Whites, and you can field knights, hospitalers, and stuff, so you can still bring pretty decent cav. Um, I also brought these peasant archers. Now, I'm not planning to win any skirmish fight, especially against Spain, who's bringing Pevy's crossbow. Like, they're already firing down on my archers. So I'm going to move them away. I also got these Gallic Leash uh, in support of my cav, because uh, I know the conquistadors that Spain can bring is a lot better than uh, my mailed knights in hospital towers. Uh, by the way, I'm going to put all the units and rules uh, in the description, uh, just because I'm not going to go over six armies in one video, that's going to take like uh, a good five minutes. But anyway, I'm going to move on the flank here, get a kind of oblique uh, firing down, so I could get as many of my men firing down and his men, uh, while he can't fire back. Anyway, and my ally is going to move over uh, to kind of take the middle, and England's going to rush up over here. Now, uh, the enemy's being pretty static here, which I suppose is a, quite a bit of a good thing. Although, if I was Spartan Co-op, I would have uh, moved against me. I'm going to sort of fake a, a charge here. I'm going to move up my cav. Um, just testing his reaction. Because I know he's got cav nearby. Um, so yeah, we run away on that. Now, we see that England is rushing up his cav, and they're isolated. Uh, so I told my ally to bring up his cav to face him, and I was going to send some cav support over um, any time to help with engagement over here, which ends up, you see here, here I am moving my cav. Um, this engagement happens first, actually, in the battlefield, which is kind of ironic, because this is what we were uh, going to avoid. Uh, but he's going to move up his Pavis cross from it because I told him to face England since there, he it appeared at first that he's going to send his cabin isolated alone, but he's being smart and holding it back. Now I'm sending up my uh, male knights to make a charge. I'm sending up two of them, and I saw that he's uh, moved his cab over here, so he can't respond to anything over here. And I pull back this mailed knights and let his conquistadors chase it. But I get a good charge on his lines, and 
Uh, he he's too focused over here. He's also got his men um, in front of his own calf, so he can't he can't respond. So I'm just gonna charge down the line. And honestly, his infantry should have tried to get involved, but they didn't stop. They didn't come up forward to stop him. Now over here, uh, my cab do get engaged and get mauled pretty badly by the conquistadors. But uh, I'm using my archers to fire down on them. Now, after moving through and taking out a lot of Pavis from the line and basically disrupting them, um, disrupting the missiles, hope I was trying to encourage Spain to get aggressive here. Um, but I move on to England over here since I see that they formed up. And again, England doesn't respond at all to what I'm doing. Although, I'm just taking out his peasant archers, which are the uh, kind of meat shields of this force. Get some quite a few kills there. And then I'm going to come in and charge again into the yeomans and so forth. Uh, excuse me here. <laughs> Subitize. Messaging me from the hot seat. I should have turned my C messages off. Um, let's see. So, my male knights, I'm going to pull them out of there. Uh, I think they may route at this point. Uh, no, I'm going to actually get on the flanks of these knights Templar. Um, but they're going to take out this Pavis crossbow unit. I also got Knights Hospitar for them, but again, the Pavis crossbow will get in the way. And Spain's also been chasing around these male knights because they've been they've been such a nuisance to the enemy. And I pull back my Knights Hospitar since they didn't get me, they didn't get a good charge off. Now I told uh, my ally to come in and try to engage these cavs. They're going to try to pull out. Which is smart because these cavs are isolated at the moment. Um, and we do get a couple of them off guard. Now, Spain is basically being quite stationary here, sending his cav um, to this flank because right now the battle is obviously engaged on this side. So, whichever team could pull mo uh, more full, more, excuse me, more forces in quicker uh, will basically crush this flank and then they could uh, establish dominance on the battlefield. So, I told Portugal to move. I'm moving in the rest of my cab over since Spain is uh, moving his cab. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to move all my heavy infantry over there because I know uh, if I get my heavy infantry in there first, we could win the infantry engagement and support the cab. Because we're at a cab disadvantage since I brought Scotland and uh, I'm using male knights against conquistadors and, and uh, English knights. Our noble allies have lost their leader. Now, Portugal's general died at this point, and the blob of a cab fight. That should be quite epic in here. I get a good charge on these English knights that were coming in to help the cab engagement, uh, which was important, although I, I get these knights hospital uh, caught in with the infantry and they're going to get slaughtered. But I'm going to use my knights hospital over here to charge the incoming Spanish infantry, and this will give me an absolute infantry advantage at this point, uh, because I've just smashed one of his conquistadors, and I'm going to smash another one here with my male knights. They had no cab protecting them or any kind of pikes at all. This will let my normal sportsmen and feudal knights get the upper hand over the superior conquistadors. Now England sort of got the hill here and he was kind of forming up a quite a defensive formation and he's actually beating back the conquistadors of Portugal. And you see I think we're getting charged in the flank here. And we're getting outflanked by Spain. We got the feudal knight here. Last feudal knight right here. Battling my mailed knights. Feudal Knights aren't actually that great of a uh, pick in terms of cav, they're not quite cost effective as male knights are. Anyway, I get another charge in over here um, from this outflanking English force. If you look at the battle over here, it's pretty much static um, out in the distance. 
uh, Venice is content to stay on his hill. Although he is sending in Cav uh, to counter Sicily's Cav over here. And I'm just using my archers to screen him. Which I think he's going to get a charge in here. But I'm going to send in my Galgleish to engage them and cut them down. I didn't even get that many kills because my archers kind of ran away at the last minute. Excuse me. And then we got a uh, front line pushing over here. I'm pushing on this flank. England's pushing on this flank. Uh, I'm charging my general through. But again, it's an uphill charge, so it's not being really effective against these English knights. Spain is sending in his general. Only half but we're going to kind of surround him. Oh, he's going to escape later on in the battle. But I got male knights who uh, were su like survived the cab engagement. Our men have slain the enemy general. And English general died somewhere in the battlefield. I think it was over here. I'm not sure what's happening. Yeah, they're not even fighting, so I guess my male knights took him out along with Portugal's knights. So far, the uh, kill percentage has been pretty good for us, although. Um, uh, we still have quite a few enemies over here, and if Sicily moved in over here, and Venice was too slow to uh, counteract Sicily's movements, then we would have probably lost over here. Whenever you're fighting on battlefield, you want to focus on the point that's not on the hill, where you could get the greatest like downhill or greatest killing potential. So, for instance, if you're facing a hill, you want to attack the player uh, to your right who's not on the hill, and so forth. So Portugal loses his infantry at this point, but I still got plenty of infantry in reserve. Oh, we're getting shot pretty bad by the longbows. But England is starting to break because their general died, and it's only a matter of time. Uh, before this flank falls. I also got my general here in the back chasing down the Pavis and routers because the Pavis would have got tons of kills with my infantry facing the other way. Anyway, the main engagement uh, between Venice and Sicily started now. Now, if I were Venice, I would have stayed on the hill because uh, our fight was looking pretty good for us, so if he stayed, he would have gave us time to finish it up and help him fight Sicily, um, but perhaps he wanted to con uh, contribute to the fight over here and finish Sicily quickly, or uh, he just felt confident of defeating Sicily. But if the fight was any closer over here, I would have sent in units on uh, to this side of the battle rather than engage the opponent. Because if you lost this side of the battle, they would just outflank you over here. And if you won this side of the battle, you could your allies could help support you with your fight. So, whenever uh, one side of a battle is in an engagement and the other is not, um, and if you're on the side that's kind of waiting for an engagement, with, uh, charge here. Oh, he's pike winner here. Keep quite a few kills. Good oh. The enemy general lies dead. Yep, and my general's bodyguard gets the uh, Spanish general. I think that happened over here somewhere. Yeah, here's my general chasing down the last of his cab. Um, anyway, whenever you're on the side that isn't engaging, uh, you probably don't want to you want to delay that engagement and instead focus on the side that it's already engaged because um, that's where the that's where the pivot point of the battle is. The battle's going to finish first there, and whoever gains the advantage at the at the flank that's fighting will have the opportunity to outflank and uh, have a greater advantage rather than just fighting head on at your opponent. Because that, that would just be gambling 
on the other side of a battle and gambling wherever you could defeat your opponent. Anyway, uh, looks like Venice is gonna get a good charge here and here. Sisley's not using his cat very well, he's kinda using him in the uh, defensive position behind his own lines and uh, Venice's infantry is gonna do pretty well against these Norman Knights. Although, Only half the enemy force yeah, remains. yeah, these Norman Knights are gonna fail in Broken Lancers against the Venetian heavy infantry. And again, Venice's cab is just too much on the flank. It would have been better if he got some cav around and did some charges in the back of these Venetian infantry, especially these. Uh, Venetian heavy infantry because they'll route pretty quickly. So we've won our fight over here. Um, we just scattered the enemy and now we're running our forces Look how over to this side. It is time to press the attack. I think that was Spain? No, that was England who uh, his army is dead and this is the last of Spain, I think. Is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Anyway, so we got a Sicilian general here trying to live as long as possible. Uh, his army is pretty much defeated. I mean, it's 65 to 90 percent at this point. I think the big mistake the enemy team made. Uh, was not really concentrating all their forces on this side of the map and not doing it quickly enough. Um, Spain was a bit too stationary at the beginning and um, perhaps England rushed forward too fast as well um, and Sicily didn't send enough support to this side. If I was Sicily I would have just moved over to this side of the battlefield and forgot about trying to take the big hill over here. Because when your army is just standing here doing nothing it's not contributing to the battle. Well, his army standing on the hill was contributing to the battle because it was uh, uh, facing off Sicily, preventing them from from taking initiative on the, uh, over here while well, we could finish up over here. I think I think I get my general's bodyguard at the last second in on the battlefield. I also got some peasant archers still alive, still in healthy numbers too. Like. Cheap archers um, are sometimes more co cost effective and useful compared to the more expensive ones. I mean, if you're not too concerned. Yeah. See, my bodyguard kills the Sicilian general. Yeah, so as I was saying, sometimes if you're not concerned about winning the missile fight, cheap, cheap archers are what you want. Anyway, let's look at the stats. Uh, I deployed for most men, so um, I was less in the middle. And I don't really like being in the middle in team games, just because it's more of a holding position, and um, you, you really gotta focus on which flank you want to support, or if you want to support both of them at the same time, and you usually have to spread yourself thin. Meanwhile, I like being on the flank, because you could have a more decisive role over the battlefield and concentrate your forces better. Anyway, I got, uh, I think Kipika actually got the most kills, but I got more captures, so overall I probably uh, performed the best. But maybe, again, that was just because I was in every engagement. Uh, uh, Strider here, he, he did alright. Uh, he did just as good as his opponent did, really. Uh, Spain kind of dropped the ball. Uh, again, he was a bit, he sent his forces in a bit too piecemeal um, and not quick enough. But at least he did support England over here, and Spartan Quap did did all right. Um, it's just he didn't use his cav quite as effectively as Kipika did. But still, getting giving 697 kills is still impressive and the most on the team over here. Uh, and then England actually did pretty well for his situation. Um, he he held. He took the hill over here, and he held it pretty well. And let's look at the uh, stats of my units. 
So my generals, bodyguard, and male knights. Like this was the male knights that was chasing down all the archers. If if you don't let uh, if you let your archers get attacked by enemy cav, enemy cav can rack up rack up tons of kills. Um, even cheap ones like male knights. And one of my knights, Hospitaller, this is the one that I think charged into the Spanish infantry. It, you know, it, it did absolutely tons of damage. And my general's bodyguard, as always, getting a lot of kills. Uh, my infantry, though, didn't do so well. In fact, my peasant archers, in a way, outperformed all my heavy infantry. Um, each getting, a, like, a decent 23 kills compared to 9 losses. And this one got, I think, charged by Cav. Um, but overall, it was a good battle. Uh, it was a good three v three, and just shows you um, the importance of what decisions you make on the battlefield, especially when you're in the middle or on the flanks. Um, again, terrain was only really a factor over here when Kipika was holding the hill, and that was important because it basically protected this flank from being attacked. Uh, anyway, this has been Emperor of the Great Unknown. I hope you enjoyed the battle commentary, and I hope you have a nice day.